Well, the extraordinary thing about Victoria is she was not in any way typical in her, her attitudes towards race, ethnicity and religion of her period, her time period, her class, or in any way, because at the time she, well, throughout the 19th century and way beyond, um, you know, the, the aristocracy were rampantly anti-Semitic. And quite a lot of them were anti-Catholic as well. They certainly were hostile towards any uh, ethnic groups, you know, beyond white supremacist British. So the Queen was an extraordinary woman in that she never ever judged people on their color or their creed. She, I think one of her greatest gifts was her, her judge, of, uh, she was a wonderful judge of character. She mm -hmm. treated people equally according to their qualities and, and, you know, and the respect she felt they were due. Um, so she, <clears throat> she was quite passionate if ever she saw instances of people being persecuted within her entourage for not, um, you know, for example, her Indian servants were often sneered at and looked down on by members of the entourage who, who were just, you know, racially prejudiced. But she was extraordinary in that way because, of course, she um, knighted Sir Moses Montefiore, the very first Jew in Britain to be knighted. Um, and also, I think she promoted um, Nathaniel Rothschild um, to the, to, um, uh, she knighted him or promoted him to the Lords, I can't remember. But she um, certainly was very, very anti-racial prejudice and, uh, and, and really stuck up for people in that sense.